Hi guys, Drew's here. I am here with a new video for you guys today. Today is Wednesday, June 16th as I'm filming this, but you guys will see this on a Friday because I'm trying to go back to my normal Monday, Wednesday, Friday video scheduling. Uh, so today I am here with my mid-year book freakout tag. I've been seeing this tag going around booktube a lot every single year throughout the middle of the year. And it's basically just a like self check-in here to see how many books you read, how well you're doing with your goals, which I'm not going to talk about my reading goals because I also forgot what my reading goals were, if I even set some. Um, but I have 14 questions here for the mid-year book freakout tag. Um, if I can find the original video, I'll leave it down below in the description box. And yeah, let's just get started. There's 14 questions here. And if you hear any noises in the background, my whole family is home. I was home alone this week because my family was going camping and my sister was out of town as well. Uh, but she came home from her trip and then uh, so did my mom and dad came home from her camping trip and that camping trip sadly got canceled because mom hasn't been feeling great. Um, so now everyone's home and it's so loud outside in the hallway, like living room area that we have. So if you can hear them, I'm so sorry. Um, there's 14 questions here. Let's get started uh, with question one. How many books have you read this year? And for me, I checked, I just counted this before I w w did the video and I think it was like 68, 67, 68 or 67 books, which is a little disappointing for me just because I have high expectation of reading um, a lot of books each month. Uh, my goal is to read 200 books for the whole year. I don't think I'll get to 200, but if I get to 100 books this year, that would be awesome. I know last year during June and July, I completed my 100 goal. So maybe that will happen again this summer. I am working a lot for my two jobs, so we'll see how that goes. Um, question number two is best book you read so far. Um, and I couldn't just pick one. A lot of these answers will have multiple, or a lot of these questions will have multiple answers. And I totally put these backwards. So a few of my favorite reads from this year, I couldn't just choose one of them. So some of my favorite books of 2021 have been The Tower of Nero by Rick Ryland, the fifth and final book in the Trials of Apollo series. Another one of my new favorites this year was The Kingdom of Souls by Raina Barron. I read this in like two days and devoured it. And I read the sequel this year as well and I loved it as well. I need to get my hands on a copy soon. This is a favorite. Um, then I, a sequel I read and really loved this year was The Conference of the Birds by Ransom Riggs. This was the fifth installment in the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children series. I read all five or all five books so far and I just need to read book six which is actually a part of a question later on in the book tag. Uh, this was a favorite mine, favorite read of mine. Um, and then of course Addie LaRue, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by Victoria Schwab or V.E. Schwab. Um, this is a beautiful Owl Crate edition that I got last year and I really loved it and I love the book itself fantastic uh, adult fantasy standalone novel and I just can't wait to read more Victoria Schwab she's one of my favorite authors um, so yeah this was a question this book was in everyone's mid-year book freakout tag last year and I just never got around to reading it last year until now so it's in this tag this year uh, question number two is the best sequel you read so far. Um, I haven't read a lot of sequels. I read The Tower of Nero, Conference of the Birds, but I've already used those, so I don't want to be repetitive. Uh, but the two sequels that I do uh, recommend is A Reaper at the Gates by Salva Tahir. This is the third installment in the Ember Quartet series. Um, I love this whole series so far. I am very nervous for book four. I still need to read book four, but five out of five stars love this one another five out of five stars and another sequel i love was illusionary by zodoria cadavio and i just read this one uh recently and it was just one that is sticking with me throughout the whole year it's definitely in like my top 10 favorites for this year so this was a great sequel and this one was a finale as well so it wrapped up the series for me so 
this is one of the mini series that I have read this year. Uh, question three is new release you haven't read yet but you want to. Um, I'm kind of sad. These three books right here are my top three most anticipated reads for the first half of the year and I never got to reading these. Um, so the first one out of the three was Chain of Iron by Cassandra Clare. I finally read Chain of Gold this year and I cannot wait to read Chain of Iron next. This is going to be my next read after finishing The Kingdom of Copper. Another one I'm so disappointed by myself I, that I haven't read it yet and I bought this back in February. That should tell you how bad of a reader I am. But that is A Quarter Silver Flames by Sarah J Maas, the fourth installment of this series. Um, the size intimidates me and I just know that book five won't come out till next year. And then another one, this author has been getting a lot of hate lately on Bookstagram and YouTube, but I love her writing anyways, and I can't wait to see how this trilogy wraps up. And that is the Something Dark and Holy trilogy by Emily A. Duncan. Um, the third and final book is Blessed Monster. I got this beautiful edition from Owl Crate and super excited to read it. It was one of my most anticipated releases and I just never got around to reading it. So there's that. Um, question four is most anticipated releases for the second half of the year. Um, I really am so excited. I would have said Heartstopper Volume 4 by Alice Oseman was my most anticipated read for the second half of the year because technically this doesn't come out till December 7th in the US. But I got an early copy from Book, De Book Depository. Um, and I was able to read it in the month of June, so I read this and loved it. Um, I got ARCs from Wednesday Books for these two, and that is Within These Wicked Walls by Lauren Blackwood, and You Reach Sam by Dustin Teo, or Theo, I don't know how to say his last name correctly. These are both debut novels that I had my eye on since the cover reveal, and they both sound amazing, and I will definitely be doing a reading vlog for these. Um, some other new releases for the second half of the year, we have Our Violent Ends by Chloe Gong, we have Satonic by Brandon Sanderson, uh, Aurora's End by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman, uh, I feel like, oh, Survive the Night by Riley Sager, oh, I'm so excited for that one. Um, I feel like there's a lot coming out and I know there's a lot coming out, oh, um, Rick Ryden's standalone novel, Daughter of the Deep. Um, Gods and Monsters by Shelby Mahern. Um, so many finales are coming out in the fall and I'm really excited and nervous for that. Uh, the Empire of Gold by S.A. Chakravorty, the paperback edition of that is coming out in July and I'm so excited to get my hands on that. So all of those are like my most anticipated reads but especially these two since I already have arcs of these two and I'm definitely will be doing a reading vlog soon. Uh, the next question, question number five, is your biggest disappointment for this year? Um, I'm really, really sad with these two because these two are my most anticipated read. Well, one of them came out last year, but this one right here was my most anticipated read of the whole year, and that was A Vow So Bold and Deadly by Bridget Kemmerer. This is the third and final book in the Curse Breaker trilogy, which follows our main character named Harper, who's a normal girl in Washington, D.C., and one day she gets swept away from this random guy in the street to come down to this, like, underworld underneath Washington and just live in this fantastical, like, land called Emberfall, and she has to try and save the kingdom and all that. It's a Beauty and the Beast retelling, and it hasn't been a retelling throughout the whole trilogy, but I really love book one. I was disappointed by book two and I was also disappointed by book three. So I'm so sad that this was such a like bad ending to the series, but I definitely am hoping for better books by Bridget Kemmerer. She does have a new one coming out this fall that I'm looking forward to as well. And I know I just said I'm looking forward to reading Our Violet Ends by Chloe Gon, but I was also sadly disappointed by These Violet Delights. I read this for my Queer Reads book club pick. This was our first book club pick for the whole year. Uh, I read this in January and I was sadly disappointed by it. And I also recommended this to my friend Taylor and I don't know if she finished it yet, but she's currently reading it and I think she's liking it more than I am, which is so weird how that happened. 
Um, if you don't know what this is, this is a Romeo and Juliet retelling 1920s Shanghai, uh, rivalry gangs, and badass main characters is what these are. Um, so sad about this, but Owl Crate is doing a special edition for book two. So of course I'll be buying it from Owl Crate whenever they have it on sale. But yeah, I was sadly disappointed by this. Um, the next question is biggest surprise. And one of these books is really hard to talk about for making it a surprise, but the other one is also easy. Um, again, I have two books for this answer. Um, I have The Storm Crow by Kaylin Josephson. This is a YA debut novel that I had on my shelf for a while. Um, I bought this last year during the summertime because I remember I was at Barnes & Noble for a job interview last summer and I just uh, didn't know what the result would be. So I was like, oh, since I did this interview all by myself with the lovely lady that I had, I'm gonna reward myself and buy a book. And then I never read it at all until this year. And oh man, I loved it so much that I immediately bought the sequel afterward, which is The Crow Rider. Um, so I'm so excited to read that one this year. Uh, the Storm Runner is about these group of people who has storm, or who has these crows, and they are crow riders. And then uh, they, it's like kind of hard to <laughs> explain. Uh, I'll just read you the dust jacket. It says a storm is rising in a tropical kingdom of Rodinian element crows. Elemental crows are part of every aspect of life until the Illunacrin Empire invades, destroying all the crows and bringing Rodanian to its knees. So it was such a fun, fast-paced YA, YA fantasy book. I almost said YA contemporary, but it's not a contemporary. Uh, YA fantasy book from a debut author that I was really looking forward to reading. And I'm just so happy it was such a great read and I can't wait to read the sequel. Another the biggest surprise, and if you read this book, you know why it was such a surprise to me. Uh, I love this book. This is also another Queer Reads book club pick, and that was A Rule of Wolves by Lee Bardugo. This is a sequel and finale to the King of Scars duology. I read this book, and I cried, I laughed, I was smiling, and the ending, oh boy. Um, if you guys haven't read this book yet, I don't know what you're doing. I got my mom to read the Shadow and Bone trilogy and she's reading book one and she's really loving it. And she's also watched the show and she loved the show, but she does not love Kaz is what she told me. So um, I'm so happy I read this one this year. This was also another five star read for me. And yeah, I this was just a surprise. I can't really say why it was a surprise, but when you read it, please send me your thoughts and details of what you thought of a bit because I really loved it and I need more people to talk about this one with because it was so amazing. Um, the next question I have is favorite new author. Uh, I have a favorite new author. Let me grab her other book. Uh, I read all three books by this lovely lady and she's becoming a favorite author of mine so much so that I spray painted one of her books already. And that is Miss Jennifer Dugan. I fell in love with Miss Jennifer Dugan's writing last year. Her debut novel was Hot Dog Girl, which is such a real weird title, I know. But it, they're just so fun. They're fun contemporaries. Uh, she always includes LGBT characters in her books. We actually read Verona Comics uh, by Jennifer Dugan for a book club pick in the month of February, I believe. And I was able to do an author interview with her on my Instagram, so I'll leave that down below if you want to check it out. Uh, I read Some Girls Do in the month of June, and this one is definitely my favorite out of the three. There was so many LGBT characters in here that was so amazing to read about. Um, I also cried in both of these books, and I spray painted this one yellow, and it was such an easy book to spray paint because it's like so short of a book. Uh, but I'm so excited to read more of Jennifer Dugan's and I know she has another contemporary coming out next year and she also has a graphic novel coming out next year too. Um, so yeah, Jennifer Dugan is definitely a new favorite author of mine. Uh, new fiction, uh, yeah, new fictional crush. Uh, my new fictional crush is, again, I have two books for this answer. The whole cast of Chain of Gold they're just all amazing and I loved each and every one of the characters, especially seeing Will and Tessa again. They have been my OTPs ever since I met them in their Infernal Devices trilogy. 
so I can't wait to read uh, the sequel Chain of Iron hoping to read that this year also I read People With Me on Vacation by Emily Henry Alex and Poppy was such a great ship and I shipped them throughout the whole book even when they were dating um, they would just when they started dating it was just like so cute and I really enjoyed this one it's not I didn't love this one as much as Greek to read but I definitely love the, these two Alex and Poppy they're an amazing two main characters that you will meet throughout this novel and I just fell in love with them from like page one <laughs> um then we have book that made you cry um I already kind of answered this one but I cried in Veronica Comics by Jennifer Duguid. I read this one this year and I cried at the very end because of what happens in here. I won't spoil you of what happened obviously but I definitely cried in this one. It was one of my favorite books of the year. Another one of my favorite books and a book that made me cry was Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas. Uh, all my reaction to this book is on Twitter so if you follow me on Twitter you probably saw all my reaction when I was reading this book love this one i actually buddy read this with my friend heather so and i was like literally in tears on facetime when we were calling each other so love angie thomas if you haven't checked out any of her works i don't know what you've been doing with your book life but yeah there's that and then a book that made you happy um a book that made me happy was definitely heartstopper volume four and then I also read You Have a Match by Emma Lord this year and I really love this. This made me super happy. I read this back in like January. I actually think I read it. Yeah, I read it in January and I had an arc of this from Wednesday Books, which is up here because that's where I keep my arcs now. Um, but I'm so excited to read more from Emma Lord. She's quickly becoming a favorite author of mine this year too. Uh, I read Tweet Cute, love that. I love Tweet Cute a bit more than this one. But this one just made me so happy. It's set during the summer camp and it's definitely a perfect book to read during the summertime. Um, then we have Prettiest Book You Own. Uh, this one was also hard to find, uh, but the ones I could only find that sticks out to me are these two. I read uh, one of these last year and then the other one I read like the year it came out and that is Shadow and Bones by Lee Bardugo. I mean, Look at this fairy loot edition, like it's so pretty. I can't believe I was able to get it. Um, and I lend my paperback edition of Shadow of Bone to my mom, so that's why I have it here. Um, but yeah, this is the collector's edition from Fairy Loot. So thank you so much, Fairy Loot. And then this is Gods and Monsters, or Goddess in the Machine uh, by Laurie Beth Johnson. I read this debut novel last year and really loved it. I mean, Look at this gorgeous, like, yes, please. Um, yeah, that's my prettiest book I own. And then I did uh, love the cover for The Gilded Ones by Naomi Forna. I haven't really talked about this one on my channel that much, but I love the cover of this one. Yeah, there's a lot of great like covers on my shelves. It was so hard to pick just one. Um, and then the final question is, books you would want to get to by the end of the year anything on my tbr to be honest like i have a lot of books i last time counted i count it was up to 500 books on my shelf um so here is a few books that i want to get to by the end of the year um never night by jay kristoff one last stop by casey mcquiston the Well of Ascensions by Brandon Sanderson. Blade of Secrets by Teresa Levenseller. Namesake by Adrian Young. The Desolation of the Devil's Ark by Ransom Riggs. And then finally, A Sky Beyond the Storm by Saba Tahir, the fourth installment of the Ember Quartet series. So a lot of those were series finales, but that's just because I want to wrap up a lot of more of my series this year. So yeah, that was the end of this book tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I haven't done a book tag in a while, um, so sorry it's such a long video. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you read in these books, please let me know what your thoughts were in the comments. And if you have any of the same answers as me, that would be really cool to know as well. Uh, I'll leave all the questions down below and I'll tag all my friends down below. I'm going to tag my friend Lori. I'm going to tag my friend Taylor. I'm going to tag my friend Heather. 
Um, who else is on booktube that I talked to? Uh, I'm gonna tag Deja from Deja Book World, Sarah from Sarah Shelves. Um, and yeah, those are the five people that I will be tagging. And if you want to do this tag, you have been tagged. Uh, please, if you had done this tag, let me know down below in the comments as well. I'll check out your video. And thank you guys so much for checking out my video for you today. And I hope you enjoyed it. I will talk to you guys later down in the comments below. While you're down in the comments, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn your notification on so you don't miss any new videos coming from me soon. Because I have a lot of good plans good videos planned out for you guys for the summer so you don't want to miss any new videos coming from me soon and give me a big thumbs up as it will help me out thank you guys so much for watching and i'll chat with you guys later bye mm -hmm.